Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you details about Trimble C3 Total Station. Now you will see the different icon here. First, we will go to setting to change different unit and other. Okay, going to angle, you can see it vertical angle 0 to azimuth compass. Uh, you can keep it as per a requirement. Now, distance uh, let it be as default. Now, to coordinate, you can change order to NEZ, ENZ as per a requirement. Uh, communication is used for uh, transferring data. Let's take a unit. Now, you can see it. Now, angle unit is kept to degree, goal, mil. It can be converted as per your site requirement. Uh, now, distance to meter. That is US feet, inch, extra, temperature, and other. Now, let's go to others. Okay, you can see it. Different, there are different uh, setting option. You can change as per your requirement. It's not a big deal. Okay, now, now let's go to job function where we can create new job and record our coordinate data. Okay, now under this you can see job name is displayed there. It's a default job. We can rename it. Now let me rename it as test file. Okay, now I'll press T E S T test. Okay, and creating a job. Now I'll press enter. Now it's showing me. Uh, press OK to create. Okay, now I'll press OK. Okay, now I need to input station details. For that, there is STN button. You can see it on number seven. Okay, you can see it STN. Now I'll go to STN and press it. Now there is uh, giving me as known. Okay. I, I know the coordinate of this point so I'll go to known point and I'll keep it as station number one and I'll press enter now it's asking me to input coordinate of this point I'll press it easting as 1200 northing as 1500 and elevation as 1000 this is my uh, random data I have inputted you can you will input as for your data provided or by using coordinate system of GPS Okay, now CD refers to code description. Okay, it means uh, what is the uh, description of this particular point. I'll keep it as STN one. This is my station one point. Okay, now pressing mode will change my alpha to uh, number mode and number. I'll press it as number one. Okay, now my code is input now. As I means height of instrument, this is 1.45. Okay, it is height from this cross mark to the down center point of your total station. Okay, just measure it and input it here. Okay, now I'll press enter. Now I'll go to backside mode. There are coordinate and angle option. If you know the coordinate of backside, you can directly go to coordinate and input. Uh, coordinate or backside or else you need to go to angle mode since I have no coordinate of backside I'll go to angle mode now I'll keep it uh, backside point as point number two and uh, I'm doing it with non prism mode so I'll keep it as height of target as zero okay now I'll target my device to north and, and keep azimuth as zero degree okay by using compass you can do it okay now it says me to side back side and press measure okay now i'll side my side and i'll press measure okay it's measuring okay now you can see it my measure data is displayed now press enter to finish it's now i'll press enter okay okay now my station setup is completed okay now i'll go to display and keep on coordinate page okay now i'll press let me target on some point and press measure okay i'll target to that pole okay okay now my site is targeted and i'll press measure i'm doing it with non prism so i'm pressing it measure too Okay, now you can see coordinate of that uh, pole. 
okay now i'll just go to record button okay you can see all the details as well i'll go to record button okay okay now it let me put as point number three now my point number will increase automatically by one okay height okay let me keep it at zero and code code description this is my poll data so i'll keep it as poli poll okay now it's recorded now let me show the features of a record mode now if i'll keep it as confirm okay now if i measure coordinate okay now it will measure coordinate and then take me to a uh, record page where i can directly input code description if, if required and record it okay now i'll keep it as wall point number four okay okay now let me go to coordinate page now what will happen if i press measure device will measure and take me to record page directly okay now if i keep it to all mode record mode to all then you can see if i press measure it will measure and record automatically you can see now my point number seven is displayed now if i measure see now point number eight seven is recorded automatically uh, as per your site condition and requirement you can do it accordingly no problem for that now let me keep it to measure only now if i press measure now it is stopped at coordinate page if i press record then only it get back to record page and if this is okay i'll keep it to record and it's recorded it's done so you can do a survey of any other point like this this is uh, how surveying is done okay now we'll get to uh, layout or stake out mode now for stake out uh, first we need to create job now let me create job you know how to create a job now go to create and create a job now i'll keep it as layout name it as layout now now layout is layout comes with stake out name okay now okay if i go to stake out it shows no station setup is completed so first i need to set up station okay station setup is same as done previous previous okay now i'll keep it string 1200 nothing 1500 and elevation to 1000 okay you know i have shown you earlier okay now i'll keep it as station one okay height of instrument i'll keep it as 1.45 okay now i'll go through coordinate mode angle okay now i'll keep it as point number two okay now i need to input the coordinate of back side so i'm putting it i'm in i'm inputting it randomly okay i'll keep it as back side bm okay now height of target uh, i'll keep it as zero okay now Site BS and measure. Now, if I measure it, you can see my backside point is measured, and you can see the error on my backside. DSD means difference in horizontal distance, and uh, or BD means vertical distance. Since I have uh, input data randomly showing me this error, now I'll just record it forcefully. Okay, now I'll go to SO option and there you can see XYZ. Uh, generally, we go through XYZ uh, features. Now I'll give, now I'll input coordinate as 1210 and 1512, elevation as 1000. Okay, now let it be 4. Now it asks me to go uh, 50 degree to counter clockwise now i'll rotate my device and horizontal distance to 15.65 meter first i'll make my angle to zero degree okay you need to first go to angle and set to zero degree and then only 
you can proceed forward further for distance okay now let me keep it okay you can see my angle is tentative to zero now by slow motion screw i am bringing it to zero okay okay now uh, this king horizontal now i'll go to the mentioned distance okay you can see still i need to go 14.67 meter ahead okay now by this we can locate the point okay and that cut refers to cut or fill okay by tilting telescope you can see changes in cut and fill okay now okay by this uh, you can stake out other point as well now let me show how your recorded data can be view okay now if i want to see the data of test file okay now i'll open test job and i'll go to menu and there you can see under number four there is data option i can directly press number four and i'll go to xyz data you can see xyz data of station one is displayed okay I have recorded only one data so only one data is shown you can if you have more data you can see other data details as well okay communication refers to download upload okay under there you can see job name which job file you want to export and format keep it as Nikon and data coordinate communication setting as USB since the, this model has USB features you can see USB port is provided there data can be sent to USB directly this is very easy function okay now if you insert USB and press enter your data will be transferred to USB drive okay by this you can uh, export your data survey data I hope this video helps you to make clear through surveying and stake out using Trimble total station okay thank you for watching my video